In today's video, we're gonna talk about a Photoshop plugin called Scripturator. As the name indicates, it is a collection of scripts that allow Photoshop users to simplify the tasks they do on a daily basis. The multitude of scripts that are combined in this one plugin is large enough to suffice the needs of both average and avid users of the very popular photo editing program that is Photoshop. Trying to go through all the content of this script can take a lot of time. So rather than naming them one by one, we'll be explaining the practicality of each one of them. The first tool we're gonna talk about is Quick Select. It fundamentally works almost the same as the color range feature, offering a new way to access selections with a more pleasant view render. The second one consists of a guide maker with features that basically do the work for you when you want to align your guides to a certain selection or a part or part of the artboard. It can make centered guides to the artboard on your specified selection, while also making an outline grid of your highlighted layers. Additionally, when making shapes in Photoshop, we can sometimes be uncertain of the dimensions we have in mind for the added graphics. We might want to surround an image or a bunch of text while not knowing the exact limitations of the selection. But this can be easily done using the Layer to Selection script, which based on the outline of your selection, will create your desired shape in the exact parameters needed. Custom shapes are very important, so saving them is a must. But Create Custom Shape option saves your custom shapes and allows you to organize them, which is fantastic. On the other hand, Path from Layer or Selection tool does a similar job with the only difference being the creation of a path rather than a shape, which helps with creating different outlines at command. Also, Split Layer to Islands can be a key tool for creators who want to separate image elements into individual assets without having to manually select every pixel in the layer to then fraction the selection. Instead, you can simply select the layer, grouping your desired elements and splitting them apart into individual layers. Next we have Fill Contour which is a fairly simple yet fun way to create interesting shapes or even drawings by having your pre-made outline area automatically filled with a foreground color. Additionally, we have Quick Resize, which allows you to resize the artboard, either by pixels, percentage values, or by selected layer. FG to modify the color and FG to invert the BG color work in a similar fashion to each other. While one allows you to change the foreground color, the second one works around the dynamics of brushes with the foreground and background colors. Now talking about cropping stuff, with the Smart Layer Mask script, cropping has never been easier. Applying the masks to selections that only wish to modify without affecting the rest of the composition is also a possibility. We all know that brushes are a key tool for artists, but most are not still having the flexibility they need with the current state of Photoshop. However, with the Select Brush script, we can easily swap out between multiple brushes in no time. Alongside this tool, we also have the possibility to set the brush size thanks to the Set Brush Size script. The rest of the parameters ranging from roundness, hardness, flow and opacity all have the same implementations in this script and allow you to manipulate brushes under a new fashion. We all know that smart objects can be a little bit tricky to handle, so a few scripts to alleviate the pain of manipulating them would be most welcomed, ranging from conversion and their own undo button to reset any malfunction with these tricky layers is a must-have feature. You can do the same tricks as per usual like resizing smart objects or unpacking them in bulk thanks to the script provided. Text is also a key element in design. So an alignment script to make sure the text is centered in your selection makes for a more compelling artwork. But the real deal is the ability to separate a whole paragraph of text into separate lines, which each line having its own layer, making your life way easier. If you're like me, sometimes I make decisions that I want to go back to to reevaluate what I've done. So an erasal tool can do the trick, which the script combines with the brush tool to switch between them instantly. But what if you wanted to only erase an effect or switch the visibility from an unedited layer to the masked one? Fear not, because a switch between layer and mask makes this task much more accessible than ever. 
Also, layer rotation assisted by guides is a similar way to changing the view angle of your selection. And transform layers by path does exactly just that. If you are interested in this Photoshop plugin, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.